Whilst we commend that the council has proposed an investment. An ambitious vision for Croydon. We don't support the complete closure of Fairfield Halls. Leaving Croydon without a major venue, large enough to support events, concerts, schools, communities, for over two years is not acceptable. But how can any proper decisions be made without a future operator on board? And if this is a commercial operator, will community groups still have affordable access? Keeping Fairfield Halls open throughout the refurbishment, whilst retaining its links to the community, will make Croydon a happier, healthier place to live. Closing this community for two years will risk breaking this valuable link. Fairfield is perfect for phrasing. The three venues allow at least one to remain open at any time. Phased approach, you get continuity of trading and revenue. Engagement with the new and prospective audiences. Retention of key staff and expertise. Retention of relationships with promoters, hirers and artists especially for schools and youth events. The cost of getting this back will far outweigh the cost of a phased refurbishment. Two years is too long in the real lives of crazy young people. Real life is over 11,000 young people each year. Missing out on the chance to engage and perform on the professional stage at Fairfield. Well, real life is 70 full-time workers redundant and 150 additional job losses. A phased refurbishment will give the same end results without losing many local jobs. The Arts Council England say we believe every child should have the chance to enjoy the arts as part of growing up. That means making, seeing and doing. Both within school, our galleries, museums and theatres. We agree and all young people of Croydon deserve access. Losing these for two years is completely unnecessary. Arts and culture is not a tap you turn off and on. Art and culture can help us tackle society's greatest challenges. Art and culture bring communities together. They combat social exclusion. Reduce loneliness. Fairfield is a crucial hub to many of these people. We all have the social responsibility to put the people's best interests before the developers' best interests. We urge the council to consider the end user. Keep our creative groups and audiences alive in the venue. Consider an additional temporary venue in Croydon during all works. Fairfield must maintain a vital cultural presence in the centre of our town. Keep Fairfield halls open so it will continue to be viable in the future. And keep our community together.